Welcome on into the Wolverine TV. Clayton Safey here with EJ Holland and Tim Verghese. Let's talk some Michigan football recruiting, specifically on the impact that Mike Elston is going to make as Michigan's new defensive line coach. I know Michigan fans really excited about this hire. Elston, a great track record of developing talent. He sent 12 guys to the NFL, five in the last three years along the defensive line. Uh, but he's also a great recruiter. And, man, he finds diamonds in the rough, it seems like. A lot of three-star guys that have gone to the NFL. He's found four stars, five stars as well. Uh, he's going to help on the recruiting trail for Michigan. Uh, EJ, let's start with one guy, and we'll break down five guys here that he's going to help with. Uh, one guy who's not necessarily known as a defensive lineman, but Elston has been recruiting at defensive line when he was at Notre Dame. Luke Montgomery, uh, the elite offensive lineman there in the class of 2023 out of Ohio. Take us through how that may impact Michigan. And Luke's going to be the only non-defensive lineman slash edge rusher that we talk about in this video, but it is important to mention him because he's one of Michigan's top overall targets in the 2023 recruiting cycle, a guy that's really highly rated as an interior offensive lineman. I think he might project better as a right tackle, uh, but just a really, really strong talent that Elston was recruiting hard at Notre Dame and early on in Luke's process there were question marks uh, as far as position whether he was going to be a defensive lineman or an offensive lineman now that he's uh, progressed since he was a sophomore it's pretty clear that he's going to be an offensive lineman at the next level at the same time Elston was so involved so early and was such a big part of his recruitment at Notre Dame that he's going to continue to play a big role at Michigan. So yesterday I went out to Ohio and I spent some time with Montgomery and, you know, we did the interview. We talked about his relationship with coach Moore, who he absolutely loves. And at the end of the interview, he was like, how about that Elston hire? Just a big home run. And he called it a monster hire. So I think uh, Elston's definitely going to help with Luke. As far as his overall recruitment, I think this one's a Michigan Ohio state battle. There are some other schools in the mix there like Penn state, Notre Dame, USC, but I really do feel like this one's a Michigan Ohio State battle. Finley, Ohio, the town where he's from, is 90 miles from Ann Arbor. It's also 90 miles from Columbus. So smack in the middle. Didn't had didn't grow up a true Ohio State fan. I mean, he's a guy that has Michigan fans on one side uh, and Ohio State fans on the other side. So I, I feel like this one is uh, a chance for for Michigan to to win the recruiting battle. And I think Elston gives the Wolverines a bonus. Tim, let's talk about Chandavian Bradley, uh, the number 36 player in the country, a four-star edge defender out of Missouri, and uh, Mike Elston in how he could uh, play an impact there. Yeah, Bradley, uh, you know, was is on high on Michigan's board, and there wasn't a whole lot of interest from Bradley's part even a few months ago, but that's changed pretty quickly here in the last couple months. Um you know, he's been more in contact with the Michigan staff, is looking to try and make a visit here this offseason. Um, and soon after I talked to him, actually, the Elston hire was announced, and I texted him about it, and he was just stunned. He uh, uh, he said Elston's one of the coaches he's connected really well with during this whole recruiting process. Um, you know, he's a very um, he's a very thoughtful kid, a very well-spoken kid, um, and, uh, you know, relationships are a big deal to him. And so the fact that Elston, a coach that he's got a very good relationship with, is now at Michigan, is a big, big deal. Uh, Elston went down to see him. Elston was making the rounds in Kansas City recently and went down to see him out in Platte County, uh, which is in North Kansas City. Um, so, you know, it's, it's it's a big deal for Bradley for sure. And, you know, I think Michigan needs to get him on campus before we, 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 we say anything further. But uh, this is a big hire. And, uh, and, you know, for Bradley, this is, uh, you know, it's a positive swing from for, for Michigan because – Obviously, he wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of interest there a couple months ago. Yeah, and EJ, let's talk now about one of the guys that has been brought up quite a bit since Mike Elston got hired. Keon Keeley, uh, a five-star edge defender who is committed currently to Notre Dame. Mike Elston brought him in, so if you want evidence that he can recruit at a high level, there it is. Uh, out of Berkeley Prep there in Tampa, Michigan got Jalen Harrell from there. Two cycles ago, Jim Harbaugh was just down there uh, on his, you know, making his rounds across the schools in that area, including at Berkeley. Uh, your thoughts on Keon Keeley? And, uh, you know, you'd hate to see Notre Dame lose a commit to Michigan, but uh, I just wonder your thoughts on him. 
Yeah, you'd really hate to see it. But no, I, I really feel like Michigan has a legit shot to flip him from the Irish, especially with Elston on board. Uh, a lot of people should remember, I actually posted about Keeley a couple of weeks ago before the Elston hire and was like, hey, this kid's committed to Notre Dame, but he's the number one edge rusher on the board. And that includes a guy like Nicholas Harbor, who's a freak five star. I was like, Keeley is the guy, like the top dog. So Michigan was already working on him. He already has a pre-existing relationship with Ryan Osborne, Michigan's defensive analyst who handles edge rushers. And now with Elston on board, the momentum has really picked up. Now you're seeing a lot of outlets starting to talk about Keon Keeley. Obviously, Jim Harbaugh was there yesterday. So, yeah, the momentum's real. I think Michigan can flip him. I'm going to have some insider notes on him shortly over here at the thewolverine.com. So you can subscribe for $1 for one year. But, yeah, I do feel like Michigan's in a strong position. Elston did a tremendous job of recruiting him and landing him out of Tampa. Like I said, there's pre pre-existing relationships with Ryan Osborne. Jim Harbaugh was there. And there's ties with the Berkeley program. Michigan just accepted a preferred walk-on offer uh, at the school and Jalen Harrell, Michigan's edge rusher, who should get more time on the field this year with Ajabo and Hutchinson off to the NFL. Uh, he's completely, you know, locked in and on staying at Michigan and being a big time contributor next year. So I think Harrell will play a role in Keeley's recruitment. I absolutely think Michigan will get Keeley on campus at some point here this offseason. And then I think you'll see uh, the wheels really start spinning as we head into the the meat of his recruiting process. But since Elston left Notre Dame, I think his recruitment has become a lot more open. Alabama just offered as well. So Michigan's going to uh, be one of those major players moving forward. Yeah, that'll be definitely one to watch and that Michigan fans are excited to keep an eye on. Uh, Tim, let's talk about David Hicks, the five-star defensive lineman number eight player according to on three in the entire country number one player in texas there uh your thoughts on elston's connection with him yeah elston like like with bradley you know elston's very close with hicks and hicks's family they talk he talks to hicks and his father pretty much every day and that hasn't changed since he he moved over from notre dame to michigan um you know with hicks recruitment specifically it's going to be tough to pull him out of the region uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Texas A&M are all, all obviously pushing for him. Um, you know, obviously, it's a big, you know, regional target for them. Um, but, you know, Hicks visited Michigan last summer. It didn't go so well. He happened to visit the same weekend that all the coaches were on the road. So he didn't. He only got to meet with support staff and, and some of the other off-field uh, coaches. Um, so that visit didn't go all so well. But, you know, Michigan, because of, between the season they had, between the Elston hire, um, they really kind of – re-emerge in that recruitment um you know i think they're still on the outside looking in but you know elston elston's going to make a push um you know he's going to be his primary recruiter and so that that matters a lot and, uh you know we're, we're going to see if if uh as of right now they don't have a, a visit planned um they don't have a whole lot of offseason plans yet um but they don't have a visit plan to michigan just yet but you know if michigan can get him back on campus preferably with the coaching staff you know around and you know some some activity on campus it would be a pretty big deal um, and it would allow Michigan to potentially, you know, make up some ground and potentially catch some of those regional schools in this recruitment. We've hit on just about every region of the country. EJ, let's go to uh, one that we haven't hit on the Pacific Northwest, uh, looking specifically at Jaden Wayne, who is a uh, 2023 four star number 32 player in the country, top player in the state, number six D lineman in the nation there out of Lincoln uh, in Tacoma, Washington. Um, your thoughts on uh, Elston there? Yeah, Jaden Wayne is a, a big target for Michigan. He was a, a huge target for Elston at Notre Dame. He's one of the most versatile players in the entire country. He's a guy that I actually saw in the seven on seven circuit last year and was like, man, this guy can be an elite tight end, but he projects so well as a defensive end, whether that's playing whether he grows into a three tech and puts on even more weight, he's already a big, strong kid or coming off the edge. But either way, I think Wayne is just one of those special elite athletes. And I honestly think Notre Dame was in a better position than Michigan when Elston was at Notre Dame. Now I think that with Elston moving over to Michigan, Michigan can leapfrog Notre Dame and, and be one of those premier programs in Wayne's recruitment. Uh, Wayne did visit Michigan last summer. He enjoyed his time on campus michigan has uh, developed some nice little ties 
with his uh, with his trainer out in the Pacific Northwest as well. Uh, they got the entire uh, FSP program, Ford Sports Performance, which uh, trains a lot of top athletes in Seattle and around the Pacific Northwest. Uh, his entire seven on seven program and training program made their way out to Ann Arbor for the game against Washington. So that those ties will help. Um, but yeah, I, I do think Elston's going to continue to make an impact with Wayne right after Elston got hired at Michigan. I texted Wayne and just asked for his thoughts. And he was really, really excited about the hire and just across the board uh, this is the last guy we're talking about, but just across the board, I think, uh, a lot of high-end edge rushers, a lot of high-end defensive linemen are extremely excited about Elston in Michigan. I think Elston is an upgrade over Sean Nua. And if Michigan's able to keep Ryan Osborne, who is getting attention as an on-field coach from other programs, then you've got the, a dynamic duo as a defensive line slash edge rusher combo recruiter recruiters. I mean, Osborne has been terrific in his role. Elston is known as a terrific recruiter. I think it's a, a complete win for Michigan. Yeah, lots of reason to be fired up about Mike Elston, not only as Michigan's position coach, but also uh, the fact that he's going to be able to recruit and you know bring in a ton of top talent to his room there in Ann Arbor. So uh, keep an eye on all that at thewolverine.com. One, one dollar gets you an entire year of premium access there, so updates on the recruitments of all these guys we just broke down. And uh, we'll see everyone over there.